Welcome to Schwab. We're excited to support you on your financial journey. With that goal in mind, we'll use this video to go over some of the most commonly used features of Schwab.com and the Schwab mobile app. We'll help you better understand where to access information about your accounts and the positions you hold. We'll also show you where you can build a watch list and perform research, the different ways you can place trades on Schwab platforms, and how to check the status of those orders. One thing to keep an eye out for is the What's New link, which you'll occasionally notice on some pages. That tab is there to help you stay up to date on any changes and new features that Schwab adds. To get started, let's look at your account summary page. On both the Schwab website and the Schwab mobile app, you'll see all your account balances together. You can even add non-Schwab accounts to see your broader financial picture. The Schwab mobile app is specifically designed so you can quickly access your most essential information, including the balance of each account, the total value of all your accounts, and important messages. Next, let's check out the positions page. On Schwab.com, you can select positions or click on an account while on your account summary page. This view allows you to see all positions of all your brokerage accounts on a single page. Within the positions page, you can customize which data columns appear and then sort them using the column headers among other features. In addition to customizable views, each position has a drop-down menu with quick access to convenient shortcuts to alerts, option chains, charts, company news, and more. On the Schwab mobile app, you can get to your positions page by selecting an account. On the positions page, market data streams by default. Now that we've discussed the positions page, let's see where you can access your watch lists. On Schwab.com, you can find watch lists by selecting trade and then watch list. Schwab watch lists feature streaming quotes and offer a lot of customization, including columns that prioritize data points that matter most to you. Clients can create as many as 50 watch lists with up to 300 symbols and 15 data points per list. To find your watch lists on the Schwab mobile app, select Watch List from the main navigation menu. Here, you're able to customize the columns to prioritize data points that matter most to you. For example, let's say you're a trader who emphasizes a healthy P-E ratio. In order to create that on mobile, tap Custom, find and tap the three dots next to the Schwab Assistant, and then Edit Custom Columns. Finally, go down to P-E Ratio. You can now add companies to your watch list by tapping the plus symbol, which will let you compare their P-E ratios or other data points important to your trading strategy. If you want to make changes to your custom watch list, just return to the customization menu. Speaking of data, in the Research tab on Schwab.com, you'll find tools and research from Schwab as well as third-party research providers such as Argus, Morningstar, and more. One tool we'd like to show you in more depth is the Stock Screener. Let's select Research, then Stocks, and then Stock Screener. You can also use the screener on mutual funds and ETFs, but for now, we'll stick with Stocks. The screener can help you find all sorts of potential opportunities that are applicable to your specific strategy. For this example, let's say you're a growth investor who wants to screen stocks by a company's market capitalization, its EPS growth, and its return on equity. To search those criteria, Press the plus symbol for basic and then check the box next to market capitalization. That gives you a new set of choices from which you can select one or more or choose enter specific values to do exactly that. Let's select micro cap for now. That will leave us with 5,891 companies. EPS growth history is under company performance. We'll select the box next to TTM versus TTM one year ago. That's shorthand for trailing 12 months versus trailing 12 months one year ago. For a growth investor, this would mean the company's earnings are improving. You can again select more than one of the percentages that come up or enter a specific value. We'll choose 25 to 50% and then 50% to 100%. To find return on equity, select financial strength and then return on equity TTM. For this, we're going to enter a specific value. Let's stay with between in this drop-down menu, but take note that there are other choices. Then we'll enter between 15% and 20%. Overall, that leaves us with 65 companies. There's also so much more you can do with the extensive research tools on Schwab.com, so be sure to check out our How-To Center for more tutorials. 
on the Schwab mobile app, you can find research after logging in and selecting markets. There you'll find information on indices, breaking news, market reports from research providers, and more. After you've done your research, you may be looking to place a trade. There are a few ways to do that on Schwab.com. Let's first look at SnapTicket, which is a streamlined trade ticket on Schwab.com that displays streaming market data and allows you to enter orders directly from your trading workflow. You can find SnapTicket on the right side of many Schwab pages. Select it to expand and enter your order details. SnapTicket supports core functionality like equities, single leg and multi-leg options orders, along with the ability to add and delete options legs. The Schwab.com all-in-one trade ticket has features designed to help you quickly and efficiently build orders. You can find the all-in-one trade ticket under the trade tab. It now includes trade preferences, an enhanced quantity calculator, and a strategy chain link. It also has a trade and probability calculator. There's also the optional limit lock feature. If you're unlocked, you'll get the latest market quote prior to placing your order. A locked price will require you to manually update the price. To place a trade on the Schwab mobile app, tap Trade to find our redesigned mobile trade ticket. It provides a more intuitive trading experience, whether you're buying your first stock or you're a veteran trader. Some of the updates include simpler multi-leg options trading through the options chain, as well as streaming market data. In addition, it now includes pre-fill animation for quantity and price, along with access to strategy chains. So, say you've placed a trade. How do you now check the status of that order? The good news is you can perform most tasks with just one click. On both Schwab.com and the Schwab mobile app, you can head to the order status by selecting Trade and then Order Status. You can sort your orders based on any of the different columns criteria by status, date range, type, or symbol. If you'd like to save how you sorted your orders, you can by selecting the box or tapping the toggle next to Remember. On Schwab.com, you can also choose a simplified layout by selecting Condensed View. To see more info on a specific order, click to expand. When you expand the order, you can see details and capabilities like changing your cost basis selection on open cell orders. You can change or cancel your orders by navigating back to SnapTicket, which will automatically open. There you can see more data like volume for the day and the securities 52 week range. We're extremely proud of what we're building for you here at Schwab, but we know anytime things change, it's easier to have some help. That's why we stand ready to help you at any point. Please give us a call at 800-435-4000 and we'd be happy to assist you. You can also find more in-depth videos on features of Schwab.com and the Schwab mobile app by visiting the Schwab How-To Center and Insights and Education under the Learn tab. We're so excited to have you here at Schwab.